Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Ijira Nade Nagataro-san episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode. Um, we are getting into the summer vacation. Uh, at least Senpai and Nagatoro will be, so that means they'll be not meeting in school. So Nagatoro will be going to school because of her club activities, but I don't think Senpai is going to go. I'm not sure. I don't think so. You know, because the art club, as far as I could see, like, it does not have any other members except him. And she, he kind of, like, ex like you know, kind of, uh, like, I remember, like, he said something about the uh, club president, but we've not seen that person. So, yeah, like, it's just him, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. So, uh, obviously, like, I doubt Senpai has anything to do, uh, like, you know, any club activities to do during summer vacation. So he probably won't go to school, but let's see, like, who knows, maybe they will meet outside school. Like, I'm not sure because they have, like, exchanged the, uh, of, you know, contact details and they can, like, you know, message, message each, each other now. So that will be one thing. And I don't know, like, who knows, maybe Nagatoro might say someday, like, you know, like, I'm outside school, meet me here. Like, I have something to talk about or something you know, you know like they can meet outside like that's it's not that you know that that they are only going to meet in school who knows they might meet outside so yeah that's just something that i thought let's see what actually happens and also like we are also seeing uh, nagato's friends are getting involved in the whole thing as well like they were also <laughs> like they came in the previous episode again and tried to mess with senpai <laughs> Nagato got mad again and you know stuff happened the whole usual shenanigans so yeah so anyways uh, let's see what this episode uh, brings like you know how like Nagatoro teases sent by this episode so without further ado let's get started with Ijiranade Nagatoro-san episode number six six isn't it uh, yeah episode number six so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What the? Senpai kun? What's happening? Who the? Is this a dream? I, I guess, like, yeah, this must be a dream or something. Wow, he, is he in heaven or something? What is this place? Chichigo Nagat? What? So this is like an RPG? That's what he's dreaming about? Him being a hero? Yeah, it's like an RPG. <laughs> Who is this girl? Like, she has blonde hair. What the? Great. Oh, no. You know that yeah like if you you become a sage that like that's like a thing in animes like you know <laughs> damn what the <laughs> this is one of Nagato's friend isn't yeah I think so like we saw this girl before in Nagato's usual click you know uh, the friend group like there's Gamo and there's I think the other girl's name is Yoshi and there's this this girl who we kind of saw in the I think the second episode when they were like you know in the cafe where the, the like you know the other uh, like the, the other two guys kind of tried to hit on them like that episode <laughs> the thing that they were talking about, you know, the, the great sage. Uh, I'm sure most, like, you know, uh, a lot of people understood what that meant. It's actually an inside joke about the whole, like, you know, 
like in like we've seen this in anime a lot like they say like if you uh, i think if you like you know if you're a virgin up till the age of 30 or something you become a great sage or something like it's like a kind of like a you know a joke or a gag that they usually use you know <laughs> like that was what they're talking about you know <laughs> Like, you know, he, she was saying that, so you have the qualifications of becoming a, like, great sage. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> oh, this is continuing. You're a wimp senpai. Wow, like, how long is his dream? Like he's still this is a dream i'm guessing obviously like what else would it be come on you're a wizard fly <laughs> damn there are goblins as well wow <laughs> the staff helped him wow this is quite unique i have to say like Oh. Damn. <laughs> Did you get Isekai by any chance? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what is this? Oh, wow. Great. <laughs> A boss battle from the get go. <laughs> what is this? A, A lizard? Lightning bolt! <laughs> I doubt. Yeah, I doubt that worked. You're weak, senpai. You need to level up. You know? Start grinding! <laughs> oh my god. Let me guess, Nagata is going to save him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow, oh, damn. What is... What the hell? <laughs> she's, a, she's a cat? A be beast man? A beast... Nekotoro. <laughs> damn. Wow, her, her face. It's kind of changed, the art style. No, it's Nekotoro. Oh. <laughs> Party member one acquired. <laughs> so she is like a monk, you know, fighting, punching. Not a monk, but kind of like that. You know, in RPGs, we have the warrior, the tanker, the wizard, the sorcerer. The monk, the healer. They don't have any healer, that's a... Damn! Wow, Negotoro is overpowered. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting an episode like this. Oh, scratch attack! <laughs> it was ineffective. <laughs> okay, like, put some shield or something, you know? There you go. Some energy barrier or... Whoa! Yeah, there you go. He has an energy barrier or what do you call it? Whatever. <clears throat> Counter attack. This must be his dream. I'm sure about it. Senpai's dream. Whoa! Nekotoro used shadow konjutsu. <laughs> 
Okay, he's buffing her. Damn. damn. <laughs> Imagine defeating such a big dragon. Wow, he, she completely like... Flung the dragon. <laughs> I'm sure they gained a lot of levels. This is Senpai's dream. I'm sure about it. <laughs> this is Senpai's dream. The way Nagatoro is acting, you know? That kind of shows. There you go. What the? <laughs> Gamo. Yeah. What? <laughs> Wasn't that an evil dragon? What? Oh, okay, okay. Four? Yoshi is here as well? What the? There you go! <laughs> Yoshi, my god! Wow! What? <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> this is a long-running dream, I have to say. <laughs> okay, who is the uh, Demon King? Uh, like, the only person we have met other than these people are the, the other girl, Nagato's friend. Who we saw before. You know, who kind of shoved Senpai. It's not here. Oh no! <laughs> Was Negatoro the real Demon King? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> you got tricked, Senpai! Oh, she's a succubus. Okay. Or a mare. Magatoro. <laughs> Magakama. <laughs> What's with the voice? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah it, it won't work senpai you lost Oh my god. Even in his dream, Nagatoro is like this. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute, maybe this is not a dream. Maybe this is like a game they're playing. Who knows? <laughs> Because this is too realistic the way Nagato is acting, you know? This probably is not a dream. Or maybe. Let's see. Is it a dream or... Yeah, it was a dream. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Damn, wh where the hell is he? Oh no. <laughs> the whole gang is here. Oh, he was... There you go! They're, they're meeting outside. <laughs> what? He even drew it! Damn! So that was why the dream, you know? He dreamed something like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Run! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm taking this notebook. <laughs> okay, that was a really good start, I have to say. Wow, they even made a strength agility like chart. Damn. And the you know the um the stats and the equipment let's go to the beach okay what is that a watermelon popsicle And there you go. Well, <laughs> let's go to the beach. Oh, <laughs> she guessed it correctly. So, let's go to the beach. The obligatory beach episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh, they are also here. Oh no. What? Sea life! <laughs> sea love spice in. <laughs> okay. Oh no! You're the odd ones! Oh my god! No! <laughs> <laughs> Lona loves <laughs> Oh my god Okay <laughs> Yeah Oh damn <laughs> oh no, Nagatoro. She's going to. Oh, great. There you go, the, the face. <laughs> Look at that, those eyes. <coughs> Nagatoro. Look at Nagatoro's face. She's following him with her eyes. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the evil face. Oh, does he not know how to swim? I think so. Or maybe not. <laughs> Lona Sea loves. Okay, he, I, I don't know if he knows how to swim or not, but maybe he's just, as they said, like, you know, he likes to be alone, so. Oh, they're having a race. Oh, Nagatar won. There you go. Hmm. Oh yeah, she she's uh yeah. E even like you know. 
It's getting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sketching. Oh, maybe he really does. Oh, okay, he can swim. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you have scan sunscreen for that. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Just in case. <laughs> Damn, this glasses as well. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, he really does not know how to swim, that means. Okay. Or maybe not, who knows. <clears throat> what? Um Oh no. Oh what Oh my god, my hair is sticking out. Oh my god! Oh, Yoshi's here. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing here? Go! Yeah, you, you do your work. Go and have fun in the beach or whatever. Oh my god, Gamo is here. <laughs> oh my god oh my god they completely Okay, he he can swim well, but he yeah. Okay, well there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so, yeah. With that much of sunscreen, you know? Yeah, that's going to happen. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow, he, 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 he sketched her as well. Okay, that's nice. What the? Is this an ending? Yeah, damn! <laughs> wow, this is... Okay, this is nice. Those uh, retro JRPGs, you know? Haha! <laughs> There's a dragon, you know, the, the, the Gamuchan that... There you go, I think. Ha! Okay.
Wow, this, this is quite unique. Uh, there you go, we have Gamo-chan as well. And Yoshi as well. I really like the whole, like, you know, the, uh, the dream that they had, of, uh, uh, he had of the RPG. Oh, she changed the changer now. <laughs> Senpai's running away. Oh my god. run. <laughs> Okay, that's it. You know, one thing I really like about, you know, that I'm really liking about this adaptation is that they're putting effort into it. Now, there's a difference between putting effort and kind of, you know, kind of like, um, like run, like riding or like running through it. Like the, the reason why I'm saying that they're putting effort into it is because of the change in the ending. That really shows that you know they are like they could have just put the previous ending in this episode but they kind of like went beyond it and kind of made this like you know an alternative type of an ending with like a retro rpg theme you know and it was nice to see like a, you know a change in the ending uh, i'm sure like we're going to get the uh, like you know the normal ending from the next episode but it was nice as a like you know a change of pace like this is what shows that they really are putting effort like you know active effort into it like i'm sure like you know a lot of people who are like in, in the animation studio and all they're also like a uh what can i say like the big fans of the manga or something that's why like they are kind of putting more effort into it or you know something like that who knows but yeah i really like like that as a fact that they it's not that like oh this is like one of the animals that we have to you know adapt so let's just do it but they really are like putting effort into the animations like the opening song also also really tells us like the opening song i have to say is not this i'm not talking about the you know the audio the song is great but i'm talking about the like the animations like you know like they, they, the the amount of special effects in the opening song in itself is so much like it would have taken a huge amount of time to like you know animate the opening in itself like that really shows us how <clears throat> much you know effort and care they're putting into this adaptation and that is the thing that i really like I'm really glad about that fact. Okay, so let's talk about this episode. Uh, <clears throat> the beginning of the episode, we see Senpai getting transported into, not transported as per se, but you know, like he was kind of dreaming uh, it all. So into like, uh, you know, those uh, JRPG, like, you know, setting where you usually get summoned into this you know, fantasy world where either you get summoned or either you are like, you know, you are a hero, you have to save, uh, the people from the demon lord or whatever and you start on your journey uh, with your beginner you know like equipment and as time goes on you level up meet new characters you know like uh, meet new teammates they fight alongside you like you know like a priest maybe uh, who has healing powers uh, <clears throat> a tank maybe uh, a sorcerer a wizard and a lot of others like you know thief or assassin or you know, a, a monk uh, or what else there are a lot of like special special classes as well like th those kind of things like uh, you meet these kind of characters they get together you fight you level up you grind for materials you go to the blacksmith you forge new weapons or buy new weapons you sell your old weapons and then equip them on yourself and your teammates uh, level up more get new skills by leveling up um, increase your stats by inputting those talent points that you get after leveling up you know one or two points each level and either you put yourself as like you know if you are a tank character you put more point into the defense if you are a dps physical dps you put your more point in your strength if you are a wizard or a sorcerer you more put more point in your intelligence and you know like and then like uh, like this like repeat grind repeat grind take new quests a complete quest get money like you know bring uh, like uh, buy new potions stronger potions and by the end of it when you are at least like level 50 60 or 70 you finally come in front of the demon king uh, the demon king's castle or whatever and you have the final boss fight you win the battle and you save the world like that is what <laughs> like you know like that that's the setting of a usual like you know traditional jrpg 
and I've played my fair share of JRPGs and I'm I'm quite a big fan, fan of JRPGs as well so yeah and <laughs> something like that and it's, it, because it was Senpai's dream he was kind of dreaming it like that and we saw him kind of sketch Nagatoro as a character as well you know like with those um uh, what do you call that that cat paw boxing gloves or whatever uh like we saw in his like you know in his um uh in his book in his, in his drawing book he sketched Nagatoro's uh portrait there as an imaginary like you know cat cat uh, warrior or whatever uh and yeah that was a really fun portion like i not i did not expect something like that happening in a slice of life you know um anyway like it's quite uh, nice to see like this is like a great change of pace uh and <clears throat> And it, it was like really great to see like these kind of like them kind of fighting these uh, like you know goblins then the dragon and then Gamo-chan came in Gamo and Yoshi both of them came in and by the end of it there was like a little twist where we <laughs> like where we see like it was actually like a trick that they were doing um, uh, Nagataro, Gamo and Yoshi they're actually uh, <laughs> you know like the demon uh, lord and their subordinates and Nagataro or Nekotoro they, she was kind of tricking him and like you know they start teasing him and saying that oh my god like did you really think that you know i i liked you or something like you know and they like all of those things were happening <laughs> which provided such a shock to senpai that he woke up in the real world <coughs> and then he's like you know finds out that nagatoro and her, her friends are also in the cafe or in the diner where, where she he was and <clears throat> like they were kind of teasing him for like you know drawing not there but uh Nagatoro, like after finding the sketchbook he was she was kind of saying that oh like you drew something like this senpai is it what you like or what <laughs> and senpai was like no i don't i like i don't know what that is like i've never even seen it and that was fun <clears throat> and here we go like i was thinking in the previous episode like uh probably they're going to <clears throat> meet outside school and have like you know even though they did not meet by making any prior engagement or something it's just that they run ran into each other in that diner but as like you know like senpai must have gone there to kind of like take some time off and like sketch something or you know uh so that was probably it and they like and he kind of fell asleep and nagatoro and gamo and yoshi when they came in they found him so something like that must have happened so yeah it was like a coincidence and again like by like in the next part we see them like you know Nagatoro kind of inviting senpai to go to the beach and here again like i was thinking like maybe they probably won't interact during the summer vacation and they're interacting and like you know like Nagatoro is like kind of telling him to come and they're meeting each other and that's nice and <laughs> like the, the name of the show is Ijiranai the Nagatoro san don't like you know bully me Nagatoro so <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like uh, like i was thinking like how are they going to do it if they are like if, if there's a summer vacation and they won't even meet you know that the actual title of the show is like he's going to bully him in a way or tease him in a way so there there it is like this is how they're going to do it so yeah and then we get to the obligatory beach episode of each and every anime every anime has one like i don't doubt you'll find and like you might find few animals which does not have that but I like you know like you, you'll definitely find one such episode in here and there's also the obligatory school trip episode I'm not sure if like we're going to have another like you know something like that in this uh you know show or not because obviously like the whole setting is a school setting you know uh, senpai now that they're like <clears throat> studying in a school so I'm guessing there is a chance of uh like you know a uh, school trip episode who knows like th there's these kind of like obligatory episodes that every anime have at least like one of them so <laughs> you know that was nice oh the uh, also the obligatory like um uh, what, what's that called the the test of courage episode <laughs> okay anyways so um all right so uh, yeah and then we get to the beach episode uh, like you know the beach portion of this episode and <clears throat> senpai was kind of planning to you know stay alone and sketch all all the time but Nagatoro kind of dragged him out like you know outside and decided to kind of involve him into the uh, you know in, into her activities as well <laughs> and uh, uh, like you know he, he kind of got pissed in, in the middle where like senpai kind of said that oh like we don't like you should probably not do this like when the whole sunscreen thing came into play and Nagatoro got pissed 
<laughs> at that <laughs> and kind of like you know uh, stomping him in a way so <laughs> yeah that was like f- funny and uh, yeah it's nice like uh, like uh, like it's fun like not fun uh, like it's, it's great to see that the other characters are also getting involved like i'm talking about uh, naruto's friends like gamo and yoshi like this whole episode we saw them you know like in, in both the parts in the first part we saw them as like a characters in the uh, rpg like setting like the dream that she they were having and in the end when they wake up like you know when senpai wakes up again they also we also see that they are also there with nagatoro and in this like in the second part of the episode also like we see them uh like you know getting involved with senpai so <clears throat> Like, yeah, it would have been kind of boring if, like, Naruto was the only one, you know, who was interacting with Senpai. So, it's kind of nice to see, like, other characters. I'm sure we'll get, uh, I'm hoping we're going to get more characters after, even after this. Uh, like, you know, even after this, like, this amount, the, the characters we have, like, excluding them. I hope so, because, like, um, we have still not have seen much of the other girl. Like, there are, there are three friends that Naruto had. Like Yoshi, um, Gamo, and another girl I don't know her name. Who we saw in the uh, like you know in the in the beginning of this episode, the the girl who kind of you know pushed Tempai out uh, in the dream, <clears throat> that girl. So I'm sure we're going to meet her as well in the future, and maybe some other new characters. At least I hope so, because you know, uh, yeah. Anyways, and uh, like I kind of said like. Uh, <clears throat> You know, like, uh, that they are, like, you know, Senpai is also going to get accustomed to the other characters as well. There we go, like, he's getting, like, slowly, slowly accustomed to everything. And, uh, like, I can also see that they are also getting accustomed to Senpai, how, like, you know, how he is. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, it was a nice, like, you know, a nice episode where, um, the teasing part was a lot less and they, like, just genuinely had fun in a way. And like, I, like in the end, like Nagator asked, so like, how do you like, you know, how, what do you think? Like, you liked it or not? And Senpai said that, yeah, that was fun. And yeah, that's basically like, he, in the beginning, he was kind of like, you know, saying that, oh, like who even goes to the beach in the middle of the summer? You know, it's hot. And I am like, you know, I'm good with my air conditioner, like, you know, like sitting at home. <laughs> then Nagator calls him and says that, oh, like you're probably senpai, so you're probably just sitting in front of an air conditioner, sucking popsicle and kind of like, you know, laying around. So let's go to the beach. <laughs> and by the end of it, like we see like senpai himself also like enjoying it. Uh, like if Nagator did not involve him in the in their activities, I'm sure senpai would have had like, you know, a boring time there. So it was great that uh, like even though like Gamo and Yoshi said that like just leave him alone uh, you know like he wants to be alone like let him be but Nagato did not listen and she thought that no let's just you know go and talk with him and that's what helped him and I like you know like this is another thing that I think like this is really helping Senpai to kind of break out of his shell like like I, I'm not saying that it's like bad like you know bad to be introverted or bad to always like you know uh, keep to yourself it's 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 okay but sometimes you know it's better to have fun with friends when you have the chance like the 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 age group that they are they are in like they're in school so <clears throat> like <clears throat> like now like i i can feel it now i can understand it now like school days and the college days are come only once in your lifetime and if you lose it being a loner it's a shame you know because it's really fun like having like interacting with friends in school and you know like having fun with them going uh like you know going uh like outside on trips with them and it's like a once in a lifetime chance and if you miss it it's not bad but i'm just saying that you're missing a big part of life in a way so yeah <laughs> that's just it so like it's, it's nice that senpai had his fun you know like i'm sure like he as he's like he's usually quite introverted and kind of like you know keep to himself so i'm sure like before that he probably never had any kind of activities like this with his friends so like at least he kind of experienced it now and like they, they have a lot of time in the future as well so i'm sure like they're going to you know interact have fun uh, and you know like go into like little trips like this in the future as well so 
like yeah like this is good like now there's kind of like <clears throat> like break like you know like kind of making senpai interact with others in a way and i'm sure this is like a, a like a positive thing that senpai is kind of going through even though the bullying and teasing <laughs> uh, like you know they, like they like you know senpai and uh, not senpai naoto and his her friends kind of bully and tease senpai it, it's not nothing much serious i think like it's just like friends having fun and sometimes uh, like uh, when they kind of go like you know overboard so like uh, one time when like uh, in the beginning episodes like when Nagatoro pushed him into the river i think or something like that happened that was going a little overboard you know but like she kind of like felt sorry for that in by the end of it and kind of apologized in a way so those are like a little bit too much but you know like little things like this they're fine like you know like uh, friends and like you know like they do some like they they like seldomly does something like this and we can also see like how like sometimes Nagato also gets a little bit of the embarrassment you know it's not like only that senpai is getting embarrassed at bullied or teased like sometimes it happens like it backfires and <laughs> Nagato also gets the taste of his her own medicine and that's also like you know funny in a way so yeah so that was it guys this was episode number um six of Ijiro Nainte Nagatoro's son. I really like this episode, especially because of the whole RPG setting in the beginning and then the beach episode. So it was nice. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so because that will help a lot. And comment down below anything you want to say or your opinion about this episode, I'll check them out. So thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next week, same time with the, another episode of Ijiro Nainte Nagatoro-san. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.